In this next lesson, we're going to talk about distributing an equations. So what we're going to do is solve the equations. Um, but first, we're going to actually apply the distributive property. So what I'm going to do is go through and highlight. In example number one, I'm going to distribute the 12. And in example two, I'm distributing the 10. And down here, I'm going to distribute this 2, this 7, this negative 5, and this 3. So we're going to go down and do this first column together, and then I'm going to have you do the second column in practice. Drop a line down, distribute your 12, so you get 12x plus 60 equals 144 minus the 60. X equals, this is going to give me 84, and 12x, sorry, divide by 12, so x equals 7. In example number three down here, we're going to drop a line down. Notice the ends on what you would call, quote unquote, the wrong side. We're going to leave it there now. We've got to practice like that. 2 times 2n is 4n, and 2 times positive 5 is positive 10. Subtract the 10. So I'm going to get negative 12 equals 4n. Those cancel out. Divide by 4. So n equals negative 3. In example number five, drop a line down your equal sign, distribute. So 30 equals negative 30n and a negative 30. So I'm going to add 30 to both sides. So 60 equals negative 30n divided by negative 30. N equals negative 2. So pause the video, and when you come back, you can check your answers to these other ones. All right, there you go. First one, k equals 8 up top here. 3 equals k. And the last one, 4 equals x. If you flip it over to the back side, um, there's two more up here if you'd like to try them. I'm going to jump down here to example 9. Your class hopes to collect 1,200 bottles to recycle to raise money for a class. This is your end goal, so that's your equals number right there. During the first week, 24 students in your class each collect 34 bottles. How many more bottles per student should the class collect? So as of right now, each kid has 34 bottles, and we need them to collect X more. That doesn't happen one time, though. That happens for every person in the class. So that number that we have here gets actually multiplied by the 24 kids in the class. At the end, we want 1,200 bottles. So we actually go ahead and distribute, and 24 times 34 gives us 816 plus 24 times x equals 1,200. We subtract the 816, so we get 24x equals 384, and we divide by 24, and we get x equals 16. So each student needs 16 more bottles. And then they'll be done. 